Christopher Columbus, 1451-1506 Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and navigator who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean. Columbus was born in Genoa, in Italy, to a family of wool workers. He began his career as a seaman in the Mediterranean Sea and eventually made his way to Portugal where he studied navigation and cartography. In Portugal, Columbus also learned about the possibility of sailing across the Atlantic Ocean to reach Asia. Columbus never set out to discover the New World, but rather to find a western sea route to the Far East to facilitate trade. After all, the Silk Road that connected Asia to the East had been closed off to the Europeans by the Ottoman Empire in 1453. Columbus was convinced that he could find a new route to Asia by sailing west across the Atlantic Ocean. He presented his plans to several European monarchs, but it was not until 1492 that he was able to secure funding from the Spanish monarchs Ferdinand II of Aragon and Isabella of Castile of Spain. On August 3, 1492, Columbus set sail from Spain with three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. After more than two months at sea, Columbus made landfall on an island in the Bahamas on October 12, 1492. He believed that he had reached Asia, but in fact, he actually discovered the Americas. When he arrived in the Caribbean, he was greeted by a large gathering of indigenous people on the beach. Columbus then realized that he had not landed in China. As far as Columbus could tell, the land was not claimed by any nation, and so he claimed it for Spain. Columbus learned that the native islands was called the Guahani, but he named it San Salvador. Shortly afterwards, the Europeans and the native islanders exchanged gifts of friendship with the Spaniards. After his meeting with the natives, Columbus sailed off in search of Asia. He explored a number of different islands and returned to Spain with a number of kidnapped victims with him. The news spread quickly in Europe, with the Europeans being thrilled at the prospect of a new world and unimaginable wealth. Columbus returned in September 1493 to secure these possibilities. Columbus returned with a fleet of 17 ships full of colonists to establish communities for Spain. He also brought mastiffs to help subdue the natives. The dogs terrorized the native people and hunted down those who attempted to resist European control. During the second voyage, the Spanish established the Ecomienda system, where the Spanish settlers claimed a large area of land and natives provided labor in return for food and shelter. The natives were reduced to slaves who could be tortured or killed for any reason at any time. They also suffered greatly from European diseases that they had no immunity to. The natives lost even more people after being shipped off to Europe as slaves. Columbus still had not found a way to reach China. However, he believed that the lands he had discovered and colonized were outliers of the Asian region. This prompted his third voyage, beginning in 1498. While Columbus did help colonize the region, he also objected to the capturing and selling of natives, and he also punished the Spanish colonists for doing so. However, Columbus and his brother Diego were arrested and sent back to Spain to answer these charges. Luckily, he was acquitted by Ferdinand and Isabella and was sent back to the New World. Columbus's fourth and final voyage took place in 1502 and ended in 1504. Columbus returned with a fleet just to find that the regional governors no longer needed him there. The governors thought that Columbus mismanaged the colonies by defending the indigenous people and interfering with the slave trade, causing financial loss for the Spanish. On his own, Columbus explored the islands of Honduras, mapped Costa Rica and other sites, and was sailing on when a storm drove his ship towards Jamaica, where it was wrecked. The natives despised him and refused any aid, and the regional governors of the area felt the same way and would not send him a rescue ship. However, he and his men were eventually rescued, largely through their own efforts, and Columbus returned to Spain in ill health and died in May 1506.